Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel again. In this video, I explain how to add additional domain controller, to an existing domain in Windows Server 2019, and this is an important step, to enhance the stability, and security of your business domain, as having an additional domain controller improves redundancy, load balancing, and ensuring that if one domain controller goes down, users can still access network resources, without interruption, so having multiple domain controllers is essential for disaster recovery, and scaling your IT environment. Windows Server, allows you to add more than one domain controller, which means that your network can still be up and running, even if the primary domain controller experiences problems. Ok, let's start quickly. This is my existing domain controller, it's already up and running, and it's the primary one and it has the primary forest, an active directory users, and computers configurations. Open the command prompt window, and type the command mslookup. And your domain name, this command is the query the domain name system, and executing the command will show us the domain name server used, the IP addresses associated, with the domain name, and also confirm that the domain is actually working, after we have Q arrive via the command. This indicates that everything is working fine. Open the server manager dashboard on the existing domain controller and click on the local server. On the left side, we will confirm the information and that everything is working before moving to the server that we want to join to this current domain. After knowing the information you want, such as the domain name and the IP address, now open the second server that we want to add to this existing domain now, open Server Manager dashboard, and also click on the local server on the left. I changed the server name, to the name that appears in front of you, as do it Server 2, and you will notice that it is still working on the work group, and is not joined to any domain. We will start with the necessary steps, to add a domain controller, to an existing Active Directory environment. Before anything you must have logged into your Active Directory server, using the administrator credentials. Click on Manage from the top of page, and from there click on Add Roles, and Features, and opening the Add Roles and Features wizard, is in the Before Starting screen, and is intended for purely informational purposes. You can read it, and click Next. Here, select the installation type, choose Role Based, or Feature Based Installation, because we are not running remote desktop services, and click Next. Now, select the destination server, on which the role will be installed. Make sure that the IP address displayed is the address of the specified server, and click Next. Here I will select the roles that I want, to install on this server, and to promote this server to a domain controller, select Active Directory Domain Services. Then confirm adding the feature, and click Next button to continue. The basic features required, for this service are selected by default. Click Next, and Next. And click the Install button, and wait a little bit until it is finished. After completing the installation of the ADDS role, click on Promote the Server to a Domain Controller. In the Deployment Configuration page, you have three options. So we will select the first option, which is Add Domain Controller to an existing domain. Then you will be asked to select the domain you want to join, enter the name of the existing domain we want to join. After that you must grant permissions so that you can join the existing domain. Click on the change button and enter the credential password for the existing domain and click OK. After entering the credentials, click next to continue. It seems that it is unable to access and connect to the existing domain. Now you must enter the IP address of the existing domain, in the DNS of the server that we want to join to, the existing domain. I forgot to mention this step before starting the steps to add a domain controller, to an existing Active Directory environment. After that click on the next button, here the options are specified to make this DC or DNS server, and a global catalog by default. You can choose to make this DC read only if you want. Specify the site name for the DC, and a unique password to put DSRM. DSRM mode helps in gaining access to an environment, if all domain administrator accounts lose access, or if the DC fails. Then click on next button, here do not specify DNS server, as the DNS server being configured will follow the existing domain, 
hence no delegation can be created, for this DNS server. This can be safely ignored, and click next. In the additional options step, choose where you want your data center, to replicate from. Active Directory can replicate from any domain controller, or a specific domain controller, leave the option as it is, and click next. Leave the default settings, as it is and click next, here you can open the domain controller command script, via PowerShell, you can keep it if you want, and click next. Windows will then perform a prerequisite check, and may show you some warnings, once it is done, you can click on the install button, and wait for the process of adding the domain, to the existing domain to finish. The domain controller is configured where all the information, from the domain, and the existing domain and the DNS settings are copied, and you set everything up, and it will ask you to do a restart for the current domain after, everything is done. After that, log in with the administrator account, of the existing domain, because this domain has already been joined, to the current domain and thus all the information, and settings have been copied to this domain. After logging in by verifying through Server Manager, it will tell us we are in the existing domain, and all steps have been completed successfully. By clicking on the Tools menu, and opening Active Directory Users, and Computers, verify that everything has been copied, and that everything is fine. So you will have two domain controllers working together. And I want to briefly explain, to you the importance of having more than one domain controller, keep in mind that one domain controller is a single point of failure. If it goes down due to hardware failure, software issues, or maintenance, users won't be able to log in, or access resources. Adding an additional domain controller enters that services, can still run even if one fails. Multiple domain controllers can share the workload, distributing authentication, and directory services tasks among themselves. This is especially useful in environments with a large number of users and devices, improving overall performance and responsiveness. Having multiple domain controllers also provides protection against data loss. Because the Active Directory database is replicated between domain controllers, you always have a backup of important information. This makes recovery faster and more reliable in the event of unexpected failures. It also protects against malicious attempts to compromise a single domain controller, as the environment can still function with other controllers. Having more than one domain controller in a single environment is essential for reliability, performance, scalability, and security. It's a best practice in IT infrastructure design, and ensures that your Active Directory environment remains robust, and resilient under varying conditions. For more tips and tricks, See let me know in the comments what other tutorials you would like to see, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe, thanks for watching. I hope the video was helpful to you. I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone.